campfires can heal cars. I would recommend using more than one. Every trap can interact with the cars. The only one that cannot is the speed module. You cannot use the teleporter to teleport cars. But if you want to use the portal rift, be prepared to see a flying car. Speaking of traps, the spike traps does not damage the tires, but only the car. You can bump around sentries and zombies with your car. In fact, I would say they work better than the actual ball. The baller and the cars do not have good interactions with each other. The driftboards can still do this, but the cars cannot. The vent gallery is one of the best things you can use if you want to see your car fly, especially the big fountains. So here's a question which a lot of people asked. Which one is the best for off-road tires and which one is the best for normal tires? And there's no general rule because it depends on the gallery which you're using. So there are some grass pieces which you can normally drive on with the normal tires and there are some grass pieces which you should use the off-road tires on. A general rule here is that you can use any terrain galleries and they are most likely very good in determining on if a grass piece can actually just be driven as an off-road piece. Uh, but other than that, there's also street pieces which you cannot drive with normal tires on. It is a very confusing topic. I can only give you the tip that you should try it out before you build your map. If you already build a map and you just figured out that you can only use off-road tires and but you want to use normal tires, you can simply place a barrier because the barrier just acts like a normal street and you can use normal tires on any barriers. First person driving is possible in Fortnite Creative. All you have to do is use the same helipad trick as before or you can even use the new barriers to make it a little bit more convenient. Yes, you can shoot tires in creative, but you cannot heal them back up with the campfires. If you're in a cardboard box and you're very close to a car, you can actually have a flawless transition between you jumping out of the cardboard box and the car, so you can immediately jump into the car. The boom box can actually stick on cars and it can boost them, so it would be probably a very good power-up in like Mario Kart games. A car can perfectly fit into a present. You can put cars in vending machines. All you have to do is select the car, put it into a chest, open the chest and take the little ball out and put it into a vending machine. The fastest you can get by normally driving or boosting is 90 with the sports car. Other than that, you can use the vent gallery to boost your car to pretty much infinite speed. And that's it with the video. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you get to learn something here today. And uh, with that being said, I will see you guys back in my next video.